Hi everyone, welcome to our 360 Green Lifestyle channel. My name is Marshall and today I will be showing you on how to do Pokeball. What is Pokeball? Pocky means cutting into pieces. It actually refers to cubes or slices of fish that is served in a bowl along with your grains, your proteins, your vegetables, as well as your dressings. Pocky bowl provides a wholesome of proteins, whole grains, a good dosage of vegetables, your fruits, nuts, seeds, and most importantly, the dressing. Pocky bowl is not only very healthy, most importantly, it is tasty and it's fresh. So how do we make our own Pocky bowl? Now, let's begin. Step 1. I will first take all my vegetables and wash it in pH 2.5 strong acidic water. This is to help me to remove all the germs and bacteria from my vegetables. And then, I will transfer them in strong alkaline water pH 11.5 for me to remove all the oil-based pesticides, herbicides, as well as insecticides before consuming them. And finally, I will transfer them in kangen water pH 9.5 for me to remove all the residues. I will be doing the same for the rest of my vegetables. This is how I wash my fruits and vegetables. Step 2 is to assemble all your ingredients. Here, I have my base, which is my quinoa. I like to use quinoa because they are very high in essential proteins for a vegetarian diet. Some even, they even use cauliflower rice or even the brown rice for the base. But to me, I always like quinoa. I have my chickpeas, my baby carrots. I also have my edamame, which is very rich in proteins. My tomatoes, you can actually use cherry tomatoes or normal regular tomatoes. I like tomatoes because they actually help to boost our metabolism. And they are very refreshing. I have my purple cabbage. Instead of the normal China cabbage, I actually use this purple cabbage because I like colors in my salad. Here, I have my salmon, my fish. Salmon is very rich in protein as well as omega-3, healthy fats. Pomelos, dry cranberries, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, nuts such as almond nuts, or whatever nuts you like to add in, cashew nuts, tiger nuts, hazelnuts and last but not least, my kale chips which I have done earlier on. I actually air fry these kale chips instead of uh, just putting it raw, I actually air fry it to give this some texture. And finally, my dressing. This dressing, I have actually done this dressing about 5 minutes ago yeah, which consists of olive oil, apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, Dijon mustard, as well as salt and pepper to taste. So I'll just give this a stir, a toss, and I will just sprinkle it on my pocket. And this is my pocket bowl. Voila! So now, I am going to give this a toss and do a taste test. A little bit of everything. Mmm. 
Wow. This is so good. It is so fresh, so healthy, and most importantly, it is very tasty. Hmm, wow. I just can't get enough of it. This whole entire process took me less than 20 minutes to prepare. If you have liked what you have just seen, do not forget to subscribe into our channel and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Here are some tips for the day. As we all know, fruits and vegetables are very good for us due to their high vitamins and minerals. It is also very high in antioxidants. Therefore, we consume fruits and vegetables for good health. But, do you know, if we feed our body with all these fruits and vegetables without cleaning them properly, we are basically feeding poison to our body. So how do we wash them properly? Step 1. Wash our fruits and vegetables in pH 2.5 strong acidic water to remove all the germs and bacteria. Step 2. Wash our fruits and vegetables in pH 11.5 strong kangen water to remove all the oil-based pesticides, herbicides, as well as insecticides. And finally, rinse with pH 9.5 kangen water to remove all the residue. This is especially important because we know that fruits and vegetables are good for us, but if we are not cleaning them properly, it defeats the purpose of eating so much fruits and vegetables, which should be good for us. So basically, we are eating poison and we do not want that. So, remember to wash your fruits and vegetables properly with our chemical-free and green water. Thank you and cheers!